Hi guys. Um, I have some sad news about my little piggy. Unfortunately, um, she was so good. You got to understand, like, this pig was so good. She was completely house trained, completely house trained. And amazingly sweet, like, so adorable, so good. But she, she got along with my younger dog, Piper. Like, they played, like, like crazy pants. She didn't really get along with Mabel. And Mabel is 10 years old. So my concern was her. They got into a ruckus underneath my bed one day. That was fine. But also, um, she had never been taught that you can be picked up. So I was having to chase her a lot. Or like if I would get up in the bed, she wanted to get up in the bed with me, Mabel and Piper. But she would like go around in circles and scream. And then I would go to bend over to get her, she would run away. This would go on for hours. And I just got a new leg. Like, literally a couple months ago. <laughs> and it just got to be so hard for me that I called the original owner and said, I don't think I can do this. And I feel so guilty right now. Like, I feel horribly guilty. Part of me is like, like, you shouldn't have done that. Like, honestly, I have such conflicting emotions about it. I think about her all the time because I wanted a pig. Like, you... <sighs> but when you physically can't, and it's like 10 o'clock at night and you have to get up again 11 o'clock at night you have to get up at 5 to get ready for work but you have to get up because the pig has gotten off the bed and now she can't get back up and she's just screaming and that's what would happen she would go under my bed and scream and scream so I'd pile up pillows or this or that and she would try to climb them but if I reached down to help her she would run away and it would happen like 60 times, like, and then I got her up on the bed and she would like root a lot and Mabel would freak out. She would be growling and freaking out. And I'm like, Mabel, it's okay. I really kind of tried to make it to be like easier for her and for us to like all get along, but I have a 900 square foot cottage that's five houses from the water. That's what I live in. I live in a like waterfront area, although I'm not waterfront. And my water view is a slice like this big in my backyard if the trees don't have leaves. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm water view. Wait. Oh no, it's summer. No, I'm not. <laughs> I feel really bad. Uh, I wanted it to work out, like, a lot. I thought. <sighs> I didn't know what I was thinking. I just, you know, I keep trying to behave as though... Hold on. As though I'm in the same condition I was, like, five years ago. And I'm not. I'm just not. Like, walking hurts. Sitting too long hurts. I come home from work and a lot of times I'm just like, oh, because I'm in pain all the time. Uh, now, I'm sure that'll get better, but that doesn't fix now when you're trying to chase a little baby pig all over the place. Like, she didn't always want to come in. She didn't want to, and that's like, you know, she's a baby. Here's another thing I didn't realize because I never owned a pig before, but, and they're supposed to be, they're like super, she was super smart, but when you, like when you have a puppy, a new puppy, and you, it's like chewing a wire and you go, ah, ah, or no, that puppy like jumps away. Pigs ignore you. And if you walk over to them, bend over, push them away from the cords or something they just wait for you to sit down and go back 
They are stubborn. She was stubborn, but I could have gotten with that. I just, if I had had one, like back when Coleman lived here, if I had Coleman living here, I could have done it. If I had one person to just take some of the slack so that when I was in that much pain, like I wasn't having to deal with running after a baby pig, I could have done it. But I don't, but I don't. So, you know, Carrie said, well, I'll come, to, you know, help. And look. Yeah, but not, It's it doesn't help because it's not the middle of the night. <laughs> When I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? But she was good. I don't know. I like I don't want to even blame her. Anyway, I called them. Tim, can't you know Tim? He came down and we were just sitting around talking and he was like, You he watching me and he's like, You can't do this. And I'm like, I know. But it was really hard to say I know. <laughs> like that's something I did not want to be limited on, like at all. So I called Rocky, that's who gave her to me. And he loves her, like, he loves her like, like a child. Like, he didn't really want to give her up. I don't care what he says, but I think, I think his wife wanted to give her up with him. But they have a pig, but he was here in five minutes. Literally, like, like I left a message saying, hi, Rocky, I'm sorry, I don't think I can do this. I just don't have the physical ability to do this and he was at my door in five minutes I was like damn that's crazy but he was here in a flash walked right in my bedroom and my house is a mess I couldn't even deal with my house like I got her very out of the blue you know like I wasn't prepared for her Maybe that would have helped, but it was too late. Like, I couldn't physically do another day of trying to keep, you know, Mabel and her happy. And I don't want Mabel. Mabel's 10 years old. I don't want... Mabel, get out of that box. What are you doing? Get out of there. Anyway, she's 10 years old, and I don't want her to have that kind of stress. And she was stressed. She was stressed <laughs> by far. <laughs> she was like, well, what the hell is this now? Because <laughs> I do stuff. I mean, hmm. the budgies were easy. You know, they're in a cage. You couldn't put this baby in a cage. She was like a dog. She was like a human. I have the worst face. Let's, let's, I have a zit on my nose. It's so sore right here. I'm going to. Let's call him, you know, George. George the Zit is driving me insane today. George is a fucker, man. Anyway, I have to go to the doctor this morning. Ow! Anyway, sad news. She, and I had named her Lola, by the way. But they called her Misha or Mishka. And let me tell you what. When I was in a jam and she wouldn't come back to me, think I didn't use that name. <laughs> I used Daddy there, like, please, just come back. And I have a fence garden all, but she just sometimes wouldn't come in. And she would challenge those crazy dogs next door. I was like, don't do that. Uh, you're, like, as big as a minute. They'll have you for dinner. But, uh, she was bold, man. Anyway, it's over. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Get anybody excited? It's just too much, man. Just too much for one old lady. I'm a lot older than that. I just act like a child. <laughs> I tell you guys, I don't lie about my age. I tell all you how old I am. And you hear the budgies screaming, budgies! Anyway, this is 10 minutes long of me telling you I no longer have a pick. So I love you guys. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. I would have loved to put like more up about her, but, but it didn't happen. I'm sorry. It, it just couldn't hate me. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm really sorry. More sorry to her because I really liked her. So I love you guys. Bye.